SBS advises that the following program contains content that may distress some viewers. So this is a box set of books that my in-laws sent to us for our kids. I won't be reading this to them, but I'll share it with you. <laughs> The story starts out with this king who wants to build a bridge, and he's asking all the people in the country for financial support to build that bridge. And then one man volunteers and gives all of his money, every last penny. And as a result of this generous donation, then he has a dream and an angel or someone comes to tell him that one of his descendants will be the only begotten daughter of God. So yeah, there's definitely some blatant grooming for financial abuse and for exploitation of all kinds. Um, and I've been on the receiving end of that. These children's books are the work of the Unification Church, a powerful religious group commonly derided as the Moonies. Janae was born and raised in the church, but following an arranged marriage that took her to Japan, she began to lose her faith. I think it's a high control religious group. I would call it a cult. I think, especially in Japan, I saw so much exploitation and heard all these horrendous stories and I can't support something that, that harms people in that kind of way. Janae has since left the church, but now her former religion has been linked to one of the most shocking moments in Japanese history. When I heard about the assassination of Abe, I was shocked. I would never have expected somebody to take it to that level. Tonight, I'm headed to Japan and into the world of the Unification Church to find out why the son of a devotee is accused of murdering Shinzo Abe. Japan, to me, is my second home. I've always known it to be a calm and peaceful place, filled with unique beauty and kind people. But on July 8th last year, my image of that Japan was shattered. It was an election year. And in the city of Nara, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe spoke at a rally for a Liberal Democratic Party candidate. At 11.30 a.m., two gunshots were heard behind him. Abe collapsed, clutching his chest. The shooter, a middle-aged man, was immediately arrested, but the damage was done. Local media in Japan is reporting that former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has died. At 5.03 p.m., Shinzo Abe, one of Japan's longest-serving prime ministers, was declared dead. The nation's journalists, like Yasuo Misawa, were among the first on the case, desperate to find out who killed Abe and why. Abe was popular in the West, but at home he was a divisive figure. His politics were seen as conservative, and he was criticised for attacking civil society and press freedom. But reporters soon discovered his killer wasn't driven by politics. How did journalists find out about the motive of Abe's shooter? The shooter
According to police, the shooter, 41-year-old Tetsuya Yamagami, claimed his mother had been bankrupted by a religious organization, later named as the Unification Church. Police allege Yamagami killed Abe in retaliation for supporting the group. But officials say the former Prime Minister was not affiliated with the church in any way. So was the attack a tragic misunderstanding? Or was there more to the story? The Family Federation for World Peace and Unification, also known as the Unification Church, was founded in Korea in 1954. Nicknamed the Moonies after their leader, Sun Myung Moon, the faithful believe Moon to be a messiah who has divined the keys to creating a literal heaven on earth. Moon was staunchly anti-communist and his church spread internationally during the Cold War, gaining notoriety for its so-called mass weddings. Today, the church operates in 120 countries and has around 600,000 members. But since Abe's murder, accusations of fraud and political interference have plagued the church in Japan allegations it strenuously denies. I've come to the Unification Church to talk to a few members. They're quite nervous about speaking to the press at the moment. But there's a protest going on right outside and I want to know what it's about. So what are you doing here today? We are we're protesting about this Unification Church because this is a very dangerous organisation. A lot of family being destroyed. And with the camera that you have set up there, are you live streaming this? So we use YouTube. Yeah. Because we want to know that there's a sat Satanism in, in this Shibuya, and that they are always targeting Japanese people mm. from the young to old. Well, thank you so much yeah. for your time. Kazuhiro seems to think a great evil lies behind these doors. But inside, I find a frightened man. その度に結構こう本当に統一教会ひどいよねっていう感じで言ってくるそういう声も受けたりとかなんか社会から本当におかしいなんかクレイジーピープっていうみたいな感じで思われてるなっていうのはすごく感じてすごくなんだろう普通
容疑者の供述した内容だけを見るとまあやっぱり注目を浴びざるを得ないなとは率直に思ったんですけどただそれも本当かどうかっていうところをまだ捜査中ですし。While church members question the assassin's story, lawyer Hiroshi Tamaguchi believes the killer was telling the truth. The Buddhist government is saying that the world is going to be a great place 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 to be 抱えているために地獄で永遠に苦しむとそのために何をするかというと献金をしなさいと。タマグチ heads a group called the National Network of Lawyers Against Spiritual Sales。founded in 1987, they say they've helped more than 300 victims recover money lost to the church。やっぱり宗教もルールを守って活動してますよと。いうことを市民が信頼して安心して宗教に結びつくということができるようになる社会が私たちは必要だと思ってるんですそういう統一教会の活動はこれはやっぱり許せないと As part of church dogma, followers are encouraged to buy mystical gifts The exorbitantly priced items like marble vases, stone pagodas and jewelry Can supposedly cure a follower's problems or release their ancestors from purgatory. These so called spiritual sales are illegal in Japan, but the LDP government, which Abe formally led, has long been criticized for ignoring the practice, leaving victims feeling abandoned, like Abe's killer. Leaving Tokyo for the remote island town of Kochi, I meet a father who says he lost more than money to the Unification Church. At 9 hours, well, 9 hours 30 minutes, it was. The house was falling down from the roof, so I was two kilometers away from the house. I saw it, and I thought, "Ah, it's the roof of the house." I was a little worried about the roof falling down. ありまして、まあ、すぐこっちへ帰ってきたんですけど消防車とかパトカーがもうすぐ見えましたのでああやっぱり長男が何かしたんだなと思って帰ってきてもう警察が全部封鎖してましたのでその家をもう,もうどうしようもないなと思ってもう本当に苦しかったですそしたら夕方というか午後からあの遺体をもう,も,うもう全然。無理だということで、もう遺体遺体として搬送していきましたので、ではその統一教会とか今までのその妻が作ってきた環境ですよね、そういう環境ではもう生きていけないと、もうそこから何にも言えなかったですね。なぜ助けてあげられなかったかなという、やっぱりそこだけすごく今でも悔やんでます。In 2020, Tatsuyo Hashida's eldest son took his own life. He was 36. What was your son's name? Eh, Hashida Atsushi. 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 Ah, so. Well, I'm not sure if you have any pictures of your son. I'm not sure if you have any pictures of your son. I'm not sure if you have any pictures of your son. あもう今宝です一番大切な宝です
Hashida is not a member of the church, but says his wife joined soon after they were married. Hashida let his sons be raised in the faith, a decision he claims cost them dearly. あの、お金を借りて僕の名前と元妻の名前で銀行の方で融資を受けて。それでその通帳は教団に預けてると。だから Hashida divorced in 2011. He now believes his ex-wife's excessive donations and the influence of the church were contributing factors to his son's suicide. やっぱりもっともっと息子のこと考えてあげないといけないのに、元妻はその献金の方へ全部シフトというか献金のことばっかり考えて。Hashida has since gone public with his story and is planning to launch legal action against the church. In response, the church released this. This interview featuring Hashida's ex-wife was posted to YouTube. In the seven-minute clip, she denies neglecting her children and refutes claims her relationship with the church played any part in her son's death. There is no way of knowing why Hashida's son took his own life. But in the wake of Abe's assassination, I wanted to know what church leaders had to say. My translator and I were granted a rare interview inside the church's Tokyo headquarters. What you're about to hear is audio from that interview. The man I spoke to did not want to be identified on camera. We've heard that the church acknowledged that it accepted excessive donations from the shooter's mother. What is excessive? In 2009, several companies run by church followers were found guilty of conducting spiritual sales in breach of Japan's Specific Commercial Transactions Act. In response, the church says it's changed the way it solicits donations and that Abe's murder has triggered even further reform. Have any members of the church felt concerned about what the shooter has said? あ、
but investigative journalist Sawa tells me the leap is just a matter of looking at history. So this was Abe's grandfather who was stabbed right before he was going to step down from the prime ministership. Yes, indeed. In July 1960, an attempt was made on the life of then Prime Minister Nobusuke Kishi, Shinzo Abe's grandfather. He too was a controversial figure. Kishi Kimoto Sori Daijin. He was a very important political figure. He was a very important after resigning from office, Kishi sought allies in his fight against the spread of communism in East Asia. Learning of Reverend Moon's anti-communist stance, Kishi invited him to Japan. He helped Moon establish the church, despite the protests of politicians and the public. In essence, the grandfather of Shinzo Abe brought the Unification Church to Japan. Did Abe Shuta know the history of Kishi, of Abe and the Unification Church? Abe Motoshishoto,統一教会の関係はこれは明らかに知っていたはずです。特に今回の山上容疑者の動機になったことその引き金になったのではないかとも見られていることなんですけれども、やはり統一教会の関係団体にビデオメッセージ。Today, in honouring Dr. Hak Jahan Moon and all of you, I would like to express my profound thanks for your tireless efforts through UPS in resolving disputes in the world. In late 2021, Shinzo Abe made this video appearance at an event organised by church members. Appearing with former world leaders, including Donald Trump, Abe praises Hak Jahan Moon, leader of the Unification Church since 2012. I appreciate UPS's focus and emphasis on family values. For many in Japan, this video is alarming. In Japan, no religious organization is to receive privileges from the state or exercise any political authority. But the church seems to have found a way into the nation's parliament. So far, one third of the LDP government, along with members of the opposition, have admitted links to the church. Current Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has removed several ministers from his cabinet and apologised to the Japanese public. The church and its operations are now the subject of a parliamentary inquiry. The findings are due later this year and could see the church's status as a religious corporation revoked, severely limiting its ability to trade and fundraise. In Japan, the fate of the Unification Church now rests with Japanese lawmakers. In the end, the murder of Shinzo Abe was so much more than a moment of mayhem. It was a tragedy, generations in the making. And while the sins of a few may have changed my image of Japan, perhaps the story of the church and the assassin holds lessons for us all.